Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today is Tuesday, so we all know what that means. It's Quick Tip Tuesday. And today I want to share with you how to easily get papers off of half square triangles. We recently did a half square triangle swap in my group over on Facebook and we did talk about it quite a bit here on the live, but I wanted to show you how I get them off. So here I have a Roberta's from um, Nebraska, USA. So here's her half square triangle. What I've got in front of me is one of my wool felted pressing pads. If you'd like one of these, they are available on my website. And then I've also got my strip stick, which is also available on my website. And last, I've got my little steam fast traveling iron. And it's just the cutest. I've got really tiny hands and it fits really nicely in my hand. So anyhow, this is my half square triangle. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it right on the paper. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up. I'm going to hold it in my hand and then I'm going to press it. And when I pressed it over, you can see I'm taking my fingernail and running it across the thread. And I'm gonna open it back up again. I'm gonna hold it right here at the point and I'm just going to rip it right off. And it's gonna come right off. One of the reasons because I pressed it and the other reason is because I scored it. And the third reason is because it's on great paper to tear away. And Roberta did a great job of making little stitches. Whenever you work with half square triangle paper, you absolutely should decrease your stitch length down to about one and a half, if not more. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna take my two thumbs and I'm just going to put them right there on the top. I'm gonna finger press it a little bit and then I'm gonna press this open. Now you can see I've got some stitches there but I can just really easily open them up. The last thing I'm gonna do is take it and put it right over my strip stick. Then I'm gonna pick up my little iron and I'm just going to press across the top of it, flip it over, and there is my perfect half square triangle. I will cut off the little dog ears eventually. So you can see, there it is. I'll do another one for you. Isn't that beautiful? This was one of our background fabrics. Here's a Peggy from Arizona, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick it up, lay it down. I'm gonna iron it right there, setting my seams just in case Peggy didn't set her seams. Then I'm gonna finger score it, take it, hold it with my thumb, rip that little thing right off, rip the next little page off. See, I get those right off quick like. I do have a little piece stuck here, and it may or, yep, guess it's not going to come off quite yet, which that's fine. It will come off eventually. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to finger press it. I'm going to put it on my strip stick, and you can see this side stayed sewn. So I'm going to grab my little seam ripper, and I'm just going to grab the first stitch. Just gonna grab that first stitch right there and I'm gonna pop it. And then it will open right up for me, which there it did. I'll set that down. And now I'm gonna press my seam open. So here we go. Now I'm pressing my seams open for a particular reason. The quilts that we're going to be making out of this, I want the least amount of bulk as possible on these corners, which is why I'm pressing them open. Next, I'm going to show you how to press them to one side. This time I've got Patty. So Patty from Utah. Here we go. Pressed it. I'm going to roll it over and score it with my fingers. Ooh, look at the batik Patty head. Ooh, that's really pretty gonna rip that cover piece right off. Here we go. Grab that other little piece on that end. Now I'm gonna rip these off. There they go. It's all gone. Then I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, isn't that one pretty? Open it up and I'm gonna press it to one side. 
Once you decide what side you're gonna press it to, either the background fabric, this is my background, or my focus fabric. On these, I'm gonna press it to my focus fabric, pick up my iron, and just run it over it just like that. And now I'm gonna turn it over, and there it is. Very nicely pressed and all ready to go into my pile for our half square triangle swap. I'm going to actually take this in the house with me tonight and start working on pressing these while I watch TV with my husband. So there we've got our Quick Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you again next week. Bye, guys.